I'm a fan of the riff. It's like a weird throwback. It's like the, the Mead, Metal, and MMA podcast. That's right. Because you got the two fellas. Nobody else. No, uh, no entry on that one. It's the, but it is the Mead for, for Metal podcast. No Krista this time, though. Yeah, and uh, that last pay-per-view kind of blows, so I doubt there'll be an MMA on this either. Mm. We're keeping it classy. Maybe. If, if there is, if, if, if we do talk MMA, it'll only just be to trash them for their shitty 300 card that they've been building for a year. Oh, now, we, I can't make time for that. Um, yeah, no Krista, so it's, I thought, well, here we go. It's like a throwback episode here. Let's keep it old school. Yeah. Shit. You so know. Jump it right up. And that was Cranium, by the way, which might be the big release of the day. Yeah, uh co-worker of mine threw these guys on to me a, while, a couple weeks ago. I didn't know it was in lieu of a new album coming out. Man, so far, so good. I am pleased. Yeah. Well, uh, then that's probably one that, that LJ will have. Uh, Hopefully, next yeah. Shit coming up here just around uh, around the corner a little later. How the fuck you doing today on a, on a fine, mighty fine Friday? You know... Um, good. <laughs> <laughs> Survived. I, I made it. I made it to another one. Put a stamp on that one. Uh, ah, eh, shit. Things are as they should be. Uh, did my taxes and I owe the government? Was well, that's the first time that's ever happened? God damn, Mister Moneybags. A whopping eight dollars. Oh, God but damn, I, so you ain't getting nothing back? Uh, the good state of Mexico is taking care okay. of me. Okay. They're like, we, Shit, well, yeah, yeah, the old W4 ball kick right there. I, uh, I, uh so when I was married, I uh, kind of let her shoulder the burden, and yeah. So I was claiming like uh, single and two or, or married and two, married and two, which means they're not right. really hardly touching your money. And uh, she was going like married and zero, and uh, and we got no, no money back, and boy, that. That really fucking put a little <laughs> extra fire onto that gasoline that was already the divorce. You know? like, God damn. And, we either uh, need kids or we need to just call it good. And that next year, and I, I, I kind of fucked around and didn't really change my W-4. That next year, having married in two, my ass owed like 1800 bucks. I don't know how the math works on that shit. Well, and then I changed a single in one, and I fucking owed still like $100 or something. I was like, fuck, man. I went single and zero. I get money back every year. Yeah. And not a little bit of money. I, I would prefer it if they didn't owe me shit and I didn't owe them shit, but uh, we don't that live in them times. That would be great. We don't live in them times. So I would rather them give me my money back than me giving them more of my money. That's just me. Yeah, apparently the uh, state of Mexico required about $110 for me for this calendar, for this whole tax year. Yeah. So that's pretty good. I got the rest of that back. But yeah, it's just weird owing the government money. Yeah. Like for More the money. first time ever, I'd go and turn my like, yeah, here's my debit card information so you can pay the government for me. Yeah. Like, uh, what? <laughs> well, that's just it. It's the government saying, hey, uh, appreciate all that fucking money you sent our way uh, all throughout the year, but we're, uh, we need a little more. Yeah, you know, uh, th 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 this is an important amount here. I'm going to audit y'all. I'm going to audit the IRS. I'm going to go down and be like, I want to see your papers right now. Tell me why. Got people to pay and whores and you know, whores. Well, I I respect the honesty at least. Uh, goddamn. So uh, reasonably good week, I guess. Yeah, not bad. I mean, goddamn, it's Friday. Fridays are always good. And we're in February, which turns out to be, and thanks to uh, fuckbook Facebook Facebook. Thanks to Facebook for providing me the memories every day so I can look and see me whatever I was bitching about with the weather. All the, the near constant is wind, but some years I'm bitching yeah. about all the snow, and other years I'm bitching about, like, how fucking hot's it going to be this summer? Today was the latter. Yeah. Well, this whole week and next. Today was pretty nice. Motherfucking 80s next week. Uh, yeah, I didn't hear you know, a couple of old motherfuckers talking about weather. Yeah, but um, going to be but, a good day. But when I'm getting 80s in February, all I do is it makes my butt clench that July is going to be fucking atrocious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's going to suck. But hey, we got a bunch of people running around uh, with uh, shit they found on uh, YouTube that, you know, alongside their uh, flat earth shit, that also uh, 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 climate change is a, is a lie. Uh, you know, yeah, this, oh, I'm sorry, I call them the scientists out there. And idiots like that usually procreate. Ugh. So A lot, too. Prodigiously. I don't have to worry about it, because I made the right choice. They're great at finding broads that don't look too good, because if we're honest, they ain't either. 
<laughs> yeah, look at Bryce Mitchell. And they get to they get to procreate, squeeze a bunch of children out because <laughs> they hold their own genetics in high regard. So you get a bunch of fucking <laughs> buck toothed or split toothed kids that you know potentially webbed toes. I don't know. Split tooth. That's a pretty good uh, band name. Not bad. You'd have to go a little uh, yeah. metal core, huh? Limp lip. Well, that's more like new metal. <laughs> Limp lip biscuit. Limp dick. Uh, no, that's more like life. But anyway, but yeah, no. If and if you're listening to this and you're a hillbilly, stop it. Stop. Stop. Stop fucking, huh? It's just do us all a great big favor and stop spreading your seed everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you know, come on and uh, stop listening to this show as well. Yeah, and then it's not like you can understand it. And move on to other things. Yeah, <laughs> go uh, crowdfund that new Winter Sun <laughs> album. Go do that. Ooh, what's do we have any uh, status update on that? Uh, I didn't watch that video where Yari provided answers as to why there is no Winter Sun studio with all the fucking money they well, made. You must have been very high because yes, we did. I was oh, <laughs> yes, we did. Oh, th- oh yeah, we did. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, yeah, I was high. Uh, uh, yeah. it, it it was I, I I I I know when people are lying to me most of the time. I don't know what Especially it is. Especially if you're talking like with a weird accent. So it's even easier to tell. Yeah, this this motherfucker misspent all that money. Fuck yeah. It, it that went right into that motherfucker's pocket. And he's saying, "Hey, and by the way, you know, so the season's record really that was uh, that was we, we always said that was to support time 2, which if you'll remember, he already had done and ready to go right after time 1. He actually had talked about that he was going to release them at the same time. And they went, "Well, wait a minute. I'm going to wait 6 months, then we'll release time 2." And then then it turns out he said, "Nope, it just wasn't up to my standards." So I dumped the whole thing. Now I want to move out of my shitty apartment and work on music full time. So I want my own studio, and the label won't pay for it. So we're going to ask you, poor cocksuckers, to do it. And they did, and got nothing. There were people like uh, bragging too, because they would. Man, they were the ones always angry at me uh, before I would get you know banned off their page. But, <laughs> but they uh, they were like, yeah, I love this band so much. I I went ahead and I bought three copies or some shit. I'm like, well, you're three a, digital copies. Well, you're a thrice over idiot then. I'm, like, I'm here to support Witter's son. Uh, but yeah, they uh, they don't really need your support. Yeah. If, if, if for anything else, I actually have a greater respect for Insafirum that they cut that motherfucker loose when they did. Yeah, I mean, those motherfuckers <laughs> shit out an album at least every two to four years. And, I mean, they're now, the same. They're the same They record, are the same. But, they are the same. But, God damn it, the <laughs> lyrics are a little different. And they, uh, they, they had the foresight to part ways with, uh, with Yari Metapaw back yeah. in, like, 08. <laughs> and don't get too fucking attached to those guitar licks he's going to be presenting if you're going to see him live. Because he doesn't play guitar live. How does one see them live anyway? Because, I mean, I'll see that they'll be on um, some major-ass festival where they get 20 minutes or something. Like yeah, 30, like, like them and but 20 other fucking bands in the same day. Yeah. And, you know, eh. it, so even if you see them live, you're not going to see them long. Man, maybe that's all right. Because, I mean, now Yari is full front, man. Yeah. He is, uh, he Le- is Axl less, Rose. Less is more with those guys. Like, Dora, I got another guitar player to do my guitar bits because my singing is so fucking complicated and difficult. And it's not, right? No! I mean, it's, it's what it always has been. No, the fuck, he's fucking Finnish. Maybe we ought to rename this podcast the anti Moonsar or not Moonsar, Witter Sun. The anti Witter Sun fucking podcast. I don't know, man. If Moonsar don't start figuring some shit out and get some new music out. I. I will forget about them. I think Henry is done, so I don't think we're going to get anything else from those guys. Realistically, unless Vila gets his shit together. They're still and, playing live, though. Yes, they are. I mean, you know. Well, the, because they got a deep fucking catalog. They, there. Yeah. <laughs> Not fresh. Current. <laughs> no. No, if you're going to be a Moon Sorrow fan, your time was early 2010s. Yeah. Late late two thousands, early twenty tens. Yeah, that's when you wanted to be a Moon Sorrow fan yeah, because I, they were I'll, putting out shit regularly. Because um, what was their last one? Jamal Nika. No. Yeah, is that the last one? That's the last one. Damn. And that is the only album I got to look forward to a release from them because I came in after. Yeah. That the one that Hoot on it. I'm not even going to try to say his name. Yeah. The four worded one. Right. Um. Yeah, Jamal Nika was probably what eighteen or nineteen. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that has been a little bit. 
I want, and I actually feel it's more on the side of eighteen than it is to nineteen. Yeah, yeah, God. I mean, six years, man. Six years, you get a little stale. Exactly, and it's it's a musical genre that you know I don't really go to that well very often. And it's only ridiculous that we're the fans of Tool as we are. So we're both wearing Tool fucking shirts. That's today. right. We're sitting around talking shit about bands not putting out records regularly. <laughs> yeah, but I we have seen Tool twice. There is well, yeah, wow. I think we did. We mention last time about the 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 financial impact of being a Tool fan. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> uh, I, I feel I feel like we've mentioned that on here several times. It's uh, it's a burden. It is a burden. They're like, hey. Y'all fans, you've probably been around as long as we have. That means y'all have to have some reasonable jobs by now, huh? And how I, about some cash? And I gotta, I gotta say that Maynard. So I saw a photo of the uh, the Undertow 30th anniversary thing yes. they were selling. Right. I, I mean, I I saw it at the show, but I didn't really get to look bucks, at right? five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Oof. Because there weren't any you could just buy. They were all signed by all four members of the band. See, and being a cashless venue, I'm so glad that I didn't give that any thought. Because my stupid ass would have went, man, I've been paying down his credit card. So let's put some shit on there, huh? <clears throat> but you're buying a $500 thing to put on your wall somewhere. Yeah. You know, it's not like you're going to take that fucking thing home, crack it open. Because I think all the signatures are on the plastic. Oh wow! <laughs> I think I could be wrong on that, but I think. I hope not. That's shitty if it is. But here's the thing: you can tell, you can tell who each man because the the pen colored pen is different for each member of the band, so you can kind of tell them apart. Yeah, you can tell what Danny Carey's signature is. Mm -hmm. You can tell what fucking Justin Chancellor's is. You can tell what Adam Jones is. Okay, and you can definitely tell which one Maynard's is because it's the fucking laziest one on the whole goddamn thing. It's like an M J and a K. no, and it's an M. <laughs> an it's M a and a squiggle. Fucking, <laughs> it, it, it's almost a perfect lowercase M. Oh shit. Oh okay. It's it. Not only is it these. It's it's the smallest signature, and it's the one people I feel like want the most. Yeah, is Maynard's signature on something? It is the laziest. Fucking signature ever. That's kind of I, is that a, is that some shit he's been doing forever? I have no idea. It's for I've I haven't really seen a whole lot of Maynard. Fuck. I'm I'm gonna guess maybe not. But it it kind of earns like five hundred dollars and and that's what you did. Yeah. Wow. That's I got to see this shit. So I'm gonna pull it up and we'll figure out. It, it's okay. terrible, dude. Okay. It it's a. It's an M with a tiny ass little like degree sign above it, with a K. But he makes a but he makes a K out of it, out of the right leg of the M. But and and not even and not even consistent. No, that's the <laughs> other fucking thing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this uh, it's all right. <laughs> I mean, which main do you get? I don't know. <laughs> you got you got the one that's available. That's what you got. <laughs> and sometimes it's uh, yeah. Um, yeah, well, like I, I guess I, it depends on the day. So right? okay, so it's a. In, oh god damn! Looks what a looks almost like kanji, right? This <laughs> fucking guy <laughs> needs to work on his signature. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it, it's so half-assed. It, it is. All right. For what <laughs> they're asking, it's like, look, uh, I'll give you a 300 for it, because I feel like that Maynard signature is worth about 20 bucks. Well, but the same thing, though, holds that um, um, when you get down to it, is that, well, I, I was going to make fun of them for 500 bucks for that shit. Um, which you kind of already have, but keep in mind. I'm making fun. I'm I'm fucking being mad. You were also the one, however, that uh, that kind of gave some real serious thought to the uh, that crystalline skull that they had released, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but thankfully, tool prices for merchandise, especially signed merchandise, sober you up, pun intended, real quick. Yeah, I'm like oh oh, that's how much it is. Yeah, and it's like fist sized. It was like a fist sized it, it, skull. It's right? like a baby skull. Yeah. Well, they did two. They did uh, the small one, and then they did it like a, a a more proper size. Oh, I didn't know but that. Was uh, the bigger one. Well, guess because what? The small one was like three hundred and fifty bucks, right? Yeah. Well, now all of a sudden the small one's like, well, I'll just get the small one. It's the same thing. I, I almost got it. But I was like, what? Uh, what? Who am I going to show this to? Yeah. Like, well, am I just going to have this in my room so I can stare at it every day? That's right. 
No, nah, I'm good, man. T-shirts are way cheaper. Yeah, well, <laughs> God damn it, that's saying something because they're all fifty bucks yeah. now. So. I think I'm gonna see if I can meet Maynard and get him like sign my arm or something, and I'll go get that tattooed because it should take about five fucking minutes and shouldn't hurt that bad. Well, because it's small and dumb. That is a dumb autograph. Speaking of dumb, and that's the people who buy the VIP experience. It's cool because you get to meet Danny, I guess. I don't even maybe, know. I don't even know Justin. that's the case. Maybe Justin, but you, you get one member of the band. They come out for the picture. It's not like you get a handshake and a photo. Oh, no, no, it's a, it's a photo, and you, that's you it. get early entry. You Thanks get for the extra four hundred dollars. All I saw in OKC was a bunch of drunk, unhappy people with VIP lanyards on. Yeah, carrying around lanyards and, and a poster. <laughs> a poster, just like God damn. Like, wow, you dropped four hundred dollars for all that? No, oh, all right. On top of what your ticket probably cost. Because you know, good and fucking well, you ain't seeing Adam and you ain't seeing Maynard. No, I, Adam has popped up on a few. Like that, you'll get two. Sometimes you'll just get Justin Chancellor. But the whole thing of like, oh God, my photo taken with Tool and nine hundred other fucking people. Right. That is not a photo with the band. It is not. That's a group photo of some a bunch of assholes you don't even know, and uh, one or two people you do. Yeah, I know t- a half that band would be more than happy to hang out and like talk to fans and shit. That'd yeah. be Justin Chancellor and Danny Carey. Yeah, Adam Jones too deep and too busy. Maynard just don't fucking care. Maynard wants to. Be, Maynard likes to be the uh, the entertainer. He likes to entertain, but he doesn't want to deal with those he's entertaining. So. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, you know, uh, talk I, about a prima donna. Huh? <laughs> like I, I can't, and it's also probably because I'm not on even an, an intelligence level that he's on. Having a conversation with him, however short it might be, would be difficult. Yeah, because like, are you fucking making fun of me right now? The way, just the way that dude talks. He's uh, and he's a dude with a bunch of fucking knowledge. Which you know, and back in back in the day, that's oh, Miles is over there having a nightmare. Um, I'll just let good luck, him, boy. I'll let him work through it. <laughs> why is that? I, up? I don't know <laughs> why that made me laugh. I don't know why it made me laugh. <laughs> work, work, work way through, man. Right, could wake you up, but believe me, get through it. You'll be a better individual. You'll be a better dog. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, man. I, it, Maynard is definitely, he's just a, an off the kilter cat. But back in the day when we used to listen to like Gip Rogan some fucking time, back be- be- when I did, before I knew he was actually just a full fucking shill for crazy people on the fucking far right. Right. I didn't realize that. He always looked like it, and you would hear like rumblings about it. He had to get that money first. But he would still have a lot of people with differing opinions on his show. Sure. Shit like that. He had yeah, motherfuckers until, that and, like were wanted by the United States on his fucking show. And uh, yeah, gets that hundred dollar or hundred million dollar uh, Spotify deal, which he, they re up for two hundred and fifty million. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, yeah, mm-hmm. and he does that. And he's like, well, now I'm independently wealthy, so I'll fucking have on who I want to have on, and fuck anybody that disagrees with me politically. He doesn't do that yeah. anymore. Spotify got mad. Well, the uh, everybody that didn't have real like fucking sway in Spotify got mad. Just smaller employees. Yeah. And Joe Rogan basically is like, nah. No, no, this is okay. And life went on. Oh, yeah. And, and Spotify told their employees, like, shut the fuck up. Joe Rogan's our guy that's going to make us a pile of money, and we'll keep paying you well, what we pay you. It's not going to give you a lot of money. It's going to give no. us and our shareholders a lot of money. Right. I might be the only cat that exists on planet Earth what's never had a Spotify account. I've had a free Spotify account. I, I've but never I would... had one. And, and, it's, and it, is, it is a little bit of a pain in the ass, because, like, sometimes you're... One of your favorite bands will put out some shows like here's my playlist for the year. It's like oh badass. It was um, it was uh, William Duvall did yeah. that. It's like yeah, here's my playlist for 23 in case you guys want to check it out. It was a Spotify fucking playlist. It's like shit. You gotta draw the line in the sand somewhere. And I did. I was like, man, I've avoided Spotify this long. I'm not picking it up over the holiday season of 2023, which turned out being a nightmare anyway. So oh, got YouTube yeah. Premium. That's all we need. That's it. Really, now, and you you got to make your choice on some things. Now, Spotify, if I just want to pay for my radio, what is a paid account? Seven ninety nine. For I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what the pay Spotify. is. I never paid for, for Spotify. No um, I don't know what that is, but but nonetheless, though, man, for that twelve ninety nine for YouTube Premium, if they if they jump 
And I'm not saying they better, but uh, or, or I hope that they do. But I will say, if they jump in their price, it's still going to be in the realm of like, yep, that's some shit I need. Yeah, they, they're going to have to cross the threshold of like twenty dollars before I start questioning some shit. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Anything over twenty dollars, like, oh, you dirty bitches. Okay, <laughs> what but, else uh, is there? But so far, twelve ninety nine, and all the, any of the music I want. No fucking commercials. Um, I want to watch fucking music or uh, fucking uh, movie clips or whatever. Or movies learn, in general. Learn how to make a god or a repair a, a, a watch from the 40s or something. I mean, it, it's there. Uninterrupted. It, it is there. And yeah, and it's worth every fucking penny of twelve ninety nine. The only other one I pay, well, I'm paying for Netflix, but that's a different story. And that's only for another week or two. But, or actually, by, through the genius of Brandon, is that they'll, uh, I can cancel now, and they'll just uh, expire that shit on me at the end of the month. So, but um, yeah, I had to pick that up again for one show, and once I'm done with it, then we're done. But uh, other than that, man, uh, Prime, it's it. Yep. Uh, well, I do have Paramount. I forgot about that. That's the uh, and that was mainly for the Super Bowl, and also Price is Right is on Boo. there for me to lo- Price is Right's on there for me to lose my shit when like they'll bring out an item, person bids eight hundred fifty dollars, Drew. The next player, eight fifty one, and like the next person was like, these people are clearly fucking with me a uh, thousand. And then the last guy goes eight fifty two, Drew, and and he's ordinarily the one that that, uh, that really made me mad. They, they do that shit a lot, and it's like how fucking dumb can you? It, unless unless you are number four, unless you are number four, never make a one dollar or a one up bet. Yeah. You go one, and I've seen him do it too, like the third player. One dollar, Drew. And the next player will go, two dollars, Drew. Like, oh, bitch. And you know it ain't fucking going to be one dollar unless you're talking about gum. Now, that could, it could be strategy because more than likely that person bidding two dollars going to win, meaning the person that bid one dollar is going to be last in line, which is where you want to be. You want to be the last bidder. Yeah. You know, well, yeah, but there's only six. I mean, there's a there is a strategy. There is six rounds. If it is after the first round, second round, I mean, you start really kind of playing on your own chances at that point. That is that is not bad strategy, but fuck, man, if you're like the fifth or last player called, you can't. You know, I mean, that's obviously it's out the window. No, you're you're the last one called. Like, fuck, man, really? I now this past week, not saying I've watched Prices Right every day. Okay, I'm fucking lying. I've I've watched Prices Right every day. Fucking knew it. Um, no, the, uh, I have seen the last person up when I want to say three out of the five fucking days this week, which uh, now granted, I'll grant you that's, that's kind of a little bit of an aberration in the numbers. You don't usually see that with the very final person called getting to go up there, but happened like three times this week. So God damn, I've learned I'm not really great at prices right anymore. I don't have a ga- good gauge for current prices. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm only fair at it, but what I am good at though, is I, I've, I've kind of figured out, I've, I've figured out what their games are. There, there are certain games that I just already know the, 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 do, 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 the oh, cliffhanger. Yeah. That thing, uh, here, here's what your bid should be. $25, $35, $45, and you'll win every time, every time, yeah. every time out, which is, no, fucking, fair. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sitting here at a table. Don't even know what the products are, Drew, but I'm going to go $25 on the first one, $35 on the second one, and $45 on the third one, and I will win. When will you motherfuckers ever learn? Uh, the uh, range game? Uh, wait for that bitch to get perfectly in the middle and hit the button. That's it. I've seen it be a little lower sometimes. Yeah, usually, sometimes. Usually if you're going to do it, cheat lower rather than cheat higher. But, you know. Um, go, you can't cheat at. Well, yeah, well, that's the other thing, too. You don't want to fucking wait for that thing to get way up the scale and, and hit, like, the upper amounts. Because I, I don't know that I've ever seen that shit. Now, yeah, granted, you you see it come in slightly low once in a while. But, man, usually if you're smack in the middle of that shit, you're good to go. And by the same token, though, they've also got games where you're, you're, you're fucking, you're not going to win. Uh, certain ones... Um, and you can tell kind of at the point in the show, it's almost like they wing it and go, man, we're running a little late. Let's move on to flip or flop and whatever. That one goes really, really fast. You get a winner or loser in a hurry. 
Plinko takes a little bit because it's a it's a pricing game, and you got to figure it out. So you start with one chip, and then it's like a four item pricing game after that, and and you know, and you can win up to four more. So you get like five chips, climb up the stairs there, and all that other shit. Drop the chip down. By the time you're doing all that shit, Plinko is taken. Like eight minutes. I mean, it is a lengthy fucking game. And that's why you don't see it every episode. But it's the game everybody wants to play. Yeah. And now, they said something one time, and and I don't think that they were wrong. And that is that if you wear a T-shirt expressing what your favorite game is, you're not going to get that game. I don't know if that's mm. Drew Carey fucking with somebody, which wouldn't I wouldn't put it past him. He seems like a real asshole, right? Yeah, the thinner he's gotten, the more of an asshole he seems to be. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, that uh, yeah, I I I I feel like that's uh, that's kind of the thing. It, uh, it that might be that might be policy. I don't know. So if you show up wearing a hey, uh, I want to play Planko, Drew, you're probably not playing Planko. I did see it one day though. It was not Planko, but a uh, chick was wearing like uh, like the dice game one or whatever, and had a shirt on for that. I and mean, that's the fucking game. So yeah, it might yeah. just be Drew Carey talking shit. And but that game sucks. Now see what. What you got to do is you got to have a really awesome T-shirt. Not just like, you know, you're here to play pink Planko. You got to be like, do it like one in the Planko, two in the Stanko. <laughs> I don't think they let you in the studio with that one. Well, that's why you wear it under the shit they allowed. <laughs> hey. Yeah, there because there was a dude, you know, because everybody does. Everybody wants to wear a T-shirt and suck their dick, you know. But there was a dude, man, he was wearing a jacket, and it was partially zipped up. And you can see there was something written on it. I feel that guy was wearing some shit that crossed the line. <laughs> Someone gave him that jacket to wear. Like, yeah. we don't want that back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, one, one, uh, one more prices right question. Then okay. We'll, uh, we'll throw to our to our homeboy LJ. Hells yeah. Uh, the pricing game you feel like you'd do the best at, and the pricing game you would most want to avoid. I already said it. The fucking the cliffhanger. Yeah. I, I already. I will. I will mail those numbers in. Twenty five, thirty five, forty five. Just, just to because you know cliffhangers, you're not really going to win anything good. Oh, I haven't thought about it. In those yeah, times. I mean, if you're looking to win, you got to go for them games to give them prizes. Uh, well, I will say this right off the bat: the one I wouldn't do. Yeah, and that's the one where you got to run and you got to put uh, the the fucking products the, the on four, three different platforms. Yeah, four, four platforms. Four pla- then run over and pull the lever, and it's yeah. all. Eh. Yeah, same, same here. Yeah, nah, I would that fuck one, that noise because I just don't have the I, I don't have a physical capability to do that. No, my, fuck that. <laughs> even if you did, that wouldn't be fun. No, because you're gonna win like a weight set. You're gonna win a fridge. You're gonna win a bed <laughs> and maybe a TV. All for yeah. running your ass off and just getting confused and angry. Uh, I feel like I do pretty well with the check game. That's where you okay. got to write out the check. Yeah, because all you got to figure out if you're in the ballpark on what that motherfucker is worth, it's like, hey, yeah, it's a Bayliner. Uh, uh. Yeah. Well, it's like Bayliners run in the range of about eight to ten thousand dollars generally. You're low end, and they and they only handle low end, so it's right. gonna be like eighty five hundred dollars. You know, because so, you also, if you get it right, you get that check and you get the cash yeah. value too. Like right. you're basically winning double. Yeah. You know, so that's making people think that they're going to cheat a little. Yeah, high. you ain't going to get can't. no Lamborghini Gallardo on that bitch. But if you know it's going to be a Bayliner, fucking eighty five hundred dollars, and they like have a, like a five thousand posted, just write a check out for thirty five hundred bucks, and you're a winner. Ding, 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 ding. Take your check, get the fuck out stage. <laughs> I uh, I would go. You know that fucking game, Golden Road, where they oh, start. They give you the price of something, and then you go to another one. You got to pick one of those numbers to fill in the gap on a price there wow that's a game that i don't know that they do anymore. they probably don't I, i've i've seen it in the drew carey era a few times but they save it for like the nighttime when they're giving away like a six-figure fucking prize okay. these days yeah but back in the day when it was kind of a normal game and you'd get a car at the end i, I feel like I, I would kill at that game and also you know get some pretty good shit and have have a good enough shot to maybe get it done yeah yeah that's um yeah, I, I don't know. There, there. Uh, you know, another one's kind of bullshit is that card game. Um, where, ah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So you're trying to car. turn these cards to try to get it in that range or whatever in order to. And it's, you got to draw a card to find out what range you got. And that's almost always for a car, you know. So sure. I feel like I'd be all right at that one, just because again, you just got to get into a range. 
and realistically, face cards aren't going to hurt you. <laughs> I mean, they're yeah. going to get you there in a hurry. They'll even. get you that G. You, you get know. a grand for them. And Basically, aces are wild. You're just wasting everybody's time if you're like just drawing one, you know, twos and threes. But, you know. But Please let us know in the comments what your worst and best Price is Right gaming prices game is it going to be. It's a shame that Chris some drinks here because I'm sure Krista would give us like one we went, oh, I didn't think about that one. But oh well. That's okay. We'll go. Uh, honorable mention to hole in one or two. That one is an interesting one, especially if you're reasonably good as a uh, miniature golfer, I feel. I, I, I have enjoyed the game. And uh, spinning the wheel. Apparently that little ba- bastard has got a certain weight to it. but, um, but I also, And I feel but, like it fluctuates, too. Really? I really do. I really feel like sometimes that thing cooks more than it should or seems a little heavier other days. Somebody got in and hit that axle with a little WD-40. <laughs> Filled with the blood of virgins. <laughs> Speaking of virgins, uh, <laughs> you know what? Instead of that, I'll hold that thought and we'll throw it to LJ instead. We'll get the low down. What's going down with LJ? I don't know any virgin. Welcome to the metal portion of the Meat for Metal podcast. I'm LJ, and technology is a bitch. Seriously, we almost didn't have an episode today because my punk-ass computer was all like, you gotta install drivers, and I was all like, nah, fuck it. Let's go ahead and start looking at some albums that are dope as shit or whack as crap. By the way, I'm using Loudwire to look at some of these. They have a uh, website called loudwiremerch.com, and there's a mug that's I Love Metal. The love is the heart is replaced by like a metal sign, and then the word metal is made up of like the five fonts from different bands like Slayer, Metallica, Iron Maiden, Cannibal Corpse, and I can't identify where the T is from. But yeah, go ahead and check it out, man. Let's go ahead and get into some bands. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so excited this morning. Maybe it's because Ace Freely has a new album out called Ten Thousand Volts, and guess what? It sounds like a Kiss album. Oh yeah. This is pretty rad, actually. I was watching the title track's music video, and damn, it rocks, dude. So go ahead and check him out. I think he deserves a chance, and the money, and, you know, a stream or two. And by one or two, I mean one or two million with a capital D, because he's kicking ass. Ace Freely, congratulations, man. You fucking rock, spaceman. Now, this next band is called Lionheart, and the album is called The Grace of a Dragonfly. Now, have you ever wondered what it would sound like if the Scorpions came back and started making music? They probably still are making music. What am I saying? It shows how much of a fan I am. Anyway, these guys sound like they would be doing a reunion tour. It sounds really badass, actually. It's got a really 80s vibe, and I am all fucking for it. I am here for this 80s sound and music, man. Let's get it. But yeah, it's worth checking out if you're into 80s style of uh, heavy metal. Sort of like the Scorpions. Here I am, da 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 da, graceful as a dragonfly. Okay, that's enough of that shit. Let's move on. So the next band on this list is called Toxical, T O X I K U L L, and the album is called Under the Southern Light. Let me ask you something. Speaking of bands that sound like older bands, anybody remember Judas Priest? Of course you do. Yeah, this album sounds just like a Judas Priest album, and holy shit, man, it's actually pretty spot on stylistically. And uh, it's funny because the album cover looks like uh, Icarus flying close to the sun and, you know, losing his wings, which I think it is actually. Yeah, it's it's funny because uh, I believe that that was the same logo for Led Zeppelin. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Speaking of funny, there's this band called Toad Licker. T-O-A-D-L-I-Q-U-O-R. And the album is called Back in the Hole. Now, I have never heard of this band before, but I was looking at the comments under the one of these songs, and uh, there's people going, no fucking way, Toad Liquor putting out new shit? Fuck yeah, metal sign. I was like, huh? And it turns out that these guys have have been around for a while. It's, it says in the description, after 25 years, Toad Liquor has returned. Are you ready to feel their hate again? I don't know exactly how to describe them other than maybe Doom and Sludge. They're very heavy, very downtuned, very deep. The dude screams when he sings, but he doesn't really sing. He's just screaming. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like uh, those old school Sludge bands. So yeah, go ahead and check this out. Maybe it's like Stone or Doom or something like that. I don't know my genres, but that sounds badass. 
Speaking of badass, you gotta have some death metal in your life every once in a while, you know? So this is a band called Hypoxia with a new album out called Defiance. And holy shit, it is just what you need if you need to scratch that death metal itch with a pitchfork. In your brain! Oh yeah, fucking death over here. God, I'm sick. Now, one thing that's really sick about this gig is that I get exposed to a lot of new music that I don't search out normally, which means that I'm exposed to a lot of new shit. And uh, there happens to be this one band that just scratched my death metal itch so good that I think I'm actually going to buy this album. Or just secretly just save it to YouTube so I can listen to it because I have premium. But anyway, the band is called Job for a Cowboy. What a weird fucking name. Anyway, the album is called Moon Healer, and the artwork is pretty awesome, I have to say. And I do say, which I do. Yeah, man, hell yeah. This is one of those albums that just like... It reminded me of Death Clock from Metalocalypse, to give you an idea. And uh, in the comment section, which of course... Or no, this is a description. It says, <clears throat> and I quote, The iconic extreme experimental death metal lineup of Job for a Cowboy had some long-awaited unfinished business. After nearly nine long years of silence, they have awoken from their slumber, forging Moon Healer, the follow-up album to their previous landmark album, Sun Eater. Wow. These guys ain't fucking around. Buy their album. And uh, stay away from sharp objects, please. Let's see what else is on here. Motorhead has uh, The Lost Tapes, Volume 1 through 5. Wow, that's kind of cool that they're still releasing their uh, collections and stuff like that. Next up is a band called Ectomorph. E-K-T-O-M-O-R-F. And the album is called Vivid Black. They describe themselves as being groove metal, new metal, and thrash metal. And those three are right up my alley, so I'd say they're probably up yours, too. And that's all the time we've got this week. I hope that you join me in two more weeks where we cover even more bands, maybe some new material, and expose ourselves to some new stuff. Take care and rock the fuck on. See ya. <laughs> Crispy fish, golden fries, tangy shrimp, tasty clams, tender chicken, fresh coleslaw, crunchy hush puppies, sweet corn, a second cup of coffee. We give you lots of reasons to love us. my balls rumble <laughs> like like no shit uh that's uh that'd be a toad liquor that lj this, was just talking this must about. be what it feels like to be around them vehicles got all the bass in them <laughs> holy shit <laughs> fuck that let's uh, end the podcast turn that shit back on <laughs> we're done or i'm done makes them short curlies get a get a little a little sideways god damn yeah that was uh that was something <laughs> It's a bizarre record, uh, but yeah, just just look for toad liquor, and it's not like a, like a like you know the act of uh, uh, give it a little oral to a toad. It's like a, like like hooch, <laughs> which is also weird. <laughs> I'm not saying it's less weird. I'm just saying it's different weird. Toad liquor? Come on, are they trying to get high like them kids? No, it's like no, no, it's uh, toad liquor. Like you know, like somebody uh, fermented some fucking toad liquid <laughs> into into a uh, briny sludgy booze. That sound terrible. Really. That really sounds bad. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan of that. So let's talk about uh, UFC three hundred. <laughs> well, we talked about time too already. Might as well talk about UFC three hundred. Might as well uh, continue to kick the the same balls we kick all the, the balls time. Balls of the rich. <laughs> the uh, so UFC three hundred. They the intention was going to be because UFC one hundred. I, I think that they wanted to put together something special, and it actually exceeded their expectations. It kind of blew their socks off, and immediately Dana and company went, "Holy shit! Can you imagine what we're going to do two hundred? 200 came around, and uh, it was tainted because, well, they just let Brock Lesnar kind of walk in off the street and fucking kill a man. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, it was Mark Hunt. And the octagon, which they claimed was gold, was really a piss yellow. It was a, it was a, it was a vitamin C piss. That, that was probably a worse idea than having Brock on the card. They're just, 
It was it was not a great card. It was an okay card. It was a serviceable card. Yeah. Um, you know, Misha Tate fucking lost her title to Amanda Nunes, but um, only one of them is still fighting, and it certainly ain't Amanda Loa. Yeah, that's barely Misha. Yeah, that's true. But uh, yeah, man. I so they they thought, all right, cool. Well, three hundred though, we're gonna make we're gonna make amends. We're not gonna do anything weird and bring in Brock, although. That was on the table. Uh, yeah, until the whole allegations came out. Turns out he might be a sex trafficker, right? Well, it, it he's not specifically named in it, but everybody seems to be assuming it's him. Yeah. And on the record, it seems like he was offered shit, but he turned it down. Yeah. Yeah, I... I about I want to say uh, that's a story. Yeah, about the time he stopped appearing in WWE is about the time his name got taken out of consideration for UFC 300. So, yeah, well, shit, he basically he works for he could potentially work for both companies under the same banner. Yeah. Well, they're all yeah, it's what TKO or TKO Holdings. Yeah. But so then they uh, then they tried to get John Jones to come out of retirement. Which here's the thing, John well, he ain't retired. John's a little bit hard, or not retired uh, out of they're trying to bring him out of uh, injury. Sorry, um, John. John's not going to do what John doesn't want to do anyway. Um, and certainly an injury that he's going to be sidelined with for another fucking five months or so, four or five months. Yeah. He, he ain't coming out. He ain't coming out in April 16th or it's April. Funny how that shit 13th, works, 13th. man. He's not doing that shit. And he is not. And he immediately said, no, he, and he, he was not vocal about it, but he was asked about it. And he said, yeah. yeah. They asked me if I want to be on that 300 card. And he said, no, there's no fucking way. I can't do it. <laughs> Do you think maybe John Jones is way, 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 way smarter than we give him credit for? Oh, I'm sure he is. He's a smart man with some flaws. I mean, he, you know. he's still, I mean, he is. He is one of the best, if not the best, to ever do it. He's he's almost one of the only automatic buys in this house but if he's going to be on a card. But damn, yeah. man, you look at the last five years of this guy's career, there's one fight in it. Yeah. No, he came out and demolished that dude. But yeah, I mean, you know, that was right place, right time, shit, right there. Yeah, but he Cyril been gone but he, fucked up. But he took three years to put that to build that frame. Yeah, but that late in your career, I mean, I, you know, you're light heavyweight. There's only one other place to go. Yeah, you're either gonna drop weight and lose shit, or you're gonna gain weight and then lose that a little bit of that speed. We didn't really get to see a lot of the speed because Cyril gone fell ass first into that fucking. Little guillotine on the cage. Yeah, well, I don't know, man. I feel like we see that guy fight one more time, and then that, and he's done. That seems to be the feeling. That's the rumor is that he's going to fight Stipe, defend that belt, so we can say he defended it, so he can say he was an official champion because that's what it requires. Oh, sure. Way. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think anybody calls anybody out on that anymore. But you have to have a title defense if you're a true champion. Agreed. Oh, hundred percent. But, to quote uh, Joe Rogan. To, to, quote, to quote all the kids out of the children and yeah. uh, mentally diminished. And I ain't getting like two hundred and fifty <laughs> getting 250 mil for it either. Nah. So 300, as far as what we know, is going to be on it. The big I, one that they finally held. But now the other one, by the way, was going to be Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler. Conor is distancing himself from Chandler at the moment. because Conor, Conor distancing himself from fighting in general. Everything. Yeah. And, and Dana White even said, he said, yeah, the problem is money. Connor's got a lot of money, and they can't use money as a motivator because that's what Dana does to manipulate people. <laughs> he he all, all as much basically said that, you know, in his own way. Is that, yeah, I, that's fair. I can't manipulate this poor motherfucker because he don't need my money. And neither did, neither did Khabib. Nope. Neither did Amanda Nunes. Oh, uh, and that uh, terrorist uh, Vladimir Putin actually, it turns <laughs> out, like bought, gave Khabib like a what a twenty five million dollar home or some shit. Oh wow, probably one of his. He had his portfolio. Like, oh, I'm sure. not using this house. Somebody just took it's away yours from now, somebody. my boy. Somebody pissed him off, sent him to Siberia. My, well, I guess I got his house now. Well, let's give it to Khabib <laughs> when he beat uh, Connor. Yeah. What do you think about? Because like, in, I guess in essence, on three hundred, we're getting three title fights. One of those titles isn't officially recognized. No, it's a BMF. The very one these assholes said it will never be used again. And it really Dana is Dana White's words. Yeah. But no, here it comes down years later. Oh, oh, we can supplement that one in when we don't have a championship fight. 
Let's do that then and make it actually mean something. Yeah. It doesn't mean fucking anything. Because it's not like a motherfucker. It's going to be very rare if some, the BMF champ wants to go up or down a weight class to maybe defend that motherfucker. Well, that's the other problem, right? Because it's a it's, 155. It's exclusive belt. to 155. Yeah. Yeah, fucking A. Yeah, that's a problem. Now, granted, the guy that has it, I don't respect. No. But I feel like that motherfucker. Uh, that's a title he should have. And he's he fighting can't, a Max he can't Hol- get the goddamn actual title. He's fighting a Max Holloway that hasn't been the same Max Holloway for about five years now. Well, that's Volkanovski's fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He cracked that kid, <laughs> and then he he himself. Now we have to question if he has a Chuck Liddell chin now. Hey man, the, fucking Valentina Shevchenko and Volkanovski are on the cover of UFC Five. Oh, God damn it. And uh, ne- neither are champions anymore. No. no. It, 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 not for nothing. Man, talk about EA with a curse, dude. Can we get Patrick Mahomes on the front of that motherfucker? Guess who's on the cover of last year's? Fucking Josh Allen. Oh. It's like, oh, yeah, well, there you go. There's Come that. On, EA, please get Patrick Mahomes on your cover, huh? They already did. Uh, 22. 22 had both Mahomes and Tom Brady on the cover because they were in the Super Bowl the year previous where Tom Brady won. And that was the year that the Chiefs didn't get one. And that was the year neither of them did yeah. anything. Right. <laughs> Come on, EA. Come on. Do us all a great big favor. Put that, uh, that uh, who's that fat prick that's uh, railing the skinny broad? Uh, Taylor Swift. No. Her boyfriend. Uh, Kurt, 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 God, Kurt no. Kelsey. Kurt Kelsey? That doesn't sound right. Travis. Travis Kelsey. That guy. Put him on the cover. Get that going on. Let's make that happen. Get him an OnlyFans account. Let's, uh, let's get some work done. Oh, yeah, oh, go back to UFC 3. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. We got uh, really derailed yeah. there. Woo, uh, woo, woo, woo. As the card stands, two and a half title fights. <laughs> How do you feel about that main event? Pajeda and fucking Jam- Jamal Hill. I think it's a great one for um, any uh, any ESPN Plus card. Really? I think it's one that makes that bears its own weight potentially for a pay-per-view. Man, I hate to agree with fucking Ben Askren because he had Daniel Cormier on his podcast. Oh, no way. Yeah, and uh, man, I I hate to agree with him, but this is really, this feels like a miss. It feels like, man, you're trying to make a really special card, and, and you kept you kept really trying to grasp at straws that weren't there, and you finally had to settle no, they, for one. And and on top of that, it turns out that uh, Pajeda said that they were going to be on 301. So, well, he said he wants to be on 301 after he walks through Hill. Maybe it's a different I interview, well, perhaps. I thought, yeah. Because he had said that that was the original one. He was going to fight Hill at 301. Oh. And they moved that one up to 300 to be the headliner there. And that, Was it announced for 301? Uh, no, but Pajeda said that he had already had the contract, you know, ah. so I don't know, man. Um, it's a good fight. It's a good fight, but it is, is a it, good fight. Is it an, um, oh my God, 300 was such an amazing card. No, and, uh, really. although it is, it's a stacked card. It's a buy. I'm not saying we're not buying it. I just feel it doesn't have a, it, it, it's missing a bit of luster. We were over promised data wise. Like, man, you're not gonna be able to keep your shit in your ass. That's right. Based on how amazing this fight card is going to exactly. be. Exactly. It's like, there have been better fight cards in the past 12 months leading it's up to this. It's going to be a solid card. It's sure. a solid buy. But, man, if you're buying it only because it's 300 you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> I'm just trying to complete the collection here. Ah, well, fuck it. Jeff Neal lost. Volkanovsky's been fucking exposed and is is on the down downtrend. And we're going to have uh, nothing but uh, Russian champions and... Everything's going to have to go through Dubai. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Oh, wait, that's right. I don't give a shit anymore because I'm not that much of a fan of the sport now. Well, I'm a fan of the sport, not of the promotion. I'm just looking forward to The Rock being at WrestleMania. I'm actually kind of curious to see if Prime (laughs) continues their deal with uh, one championship. Yeah, they just did a card on there a couple weeks ago. Damn. See, and that's the other problem is I also, since I never get on Prime, I don't get on Prime very often. I mean, the fight, there was no one on there would have been like, who the fuck is that? Okay. Every single fight would have yeah, been Yeah, I that know, way. but still, you get those guys out of one championship, they're there for a reason. Sure. You know? And this was out of Atlanta, I want to say. But the, the other problem is that shit's on Friday. Yeah. Well, I'm all right with that, too. But Well, it's just harder to remember. Yeah. Uh, PFL. 
Uh, they're on ESPN Plus now. Yeah. Along with uh, UFC. It's a little that is weird. interesting neighborhood That there. is a monopolize. Yeah. But, I mean, well, shit, there's Bellator, which... That's, that's gone, right? No, Bellator's still kicking. They're just a part of the PFL. Got folded into PFL? I, I yeah, they had, like, Bellator 302 a couple hmm. weeks ago. Are they going to try to do it like uh, AEW with Ring of Honor? I feel like that's what they're already fucking doing, man. It's weird. Shit. There's there's a lot a lot of weird shit going on in MMA right now. Ain't none of it super great, but uh, fuck it, we're still here. Yeah, yeah, man. This has been kind of a good throwback little fucking show. I didn't even ask. Yeah. How was your week? I didn't do any of that shit. Well, anything, you did. You just didn't ask in the uh, the proper the proper pro- tone that I should have had from the the olden days. And uh, a little bit of rage. Had a little, a little bit, bit of rage. A little bit, bit of musical Yari but, Menopov rage. Oh, and by the way, and for you ladies that are angrily typing right now about my Taylor Swift comment, I know she's more than just a skinny broad. And I know that Travis, what's his name? J- uh, Chel- Johnson. Travis Johnson. I know he I don't think that's it. But it's I know I know he's um he, he's a dummy though. He he really is. And he's said some very bad things. And I'm shocked that your lady is dating this man given his fucking tr- problematic history. That motherfucker attacked Wilford Bremley on the sidelines of the Super Bowl. And that ain't cool. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> All right. Well, any, uh, any good shit coming up for the uh, between uh, now and the next uh, next fucking show? Uh, let's see. The, what the first day of Mar- no. no, 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 no. We'll be balls deep in like yeah. shit eighth, weather. Eighth of March. Even the time might be different. Yeah, might still be daylight outside. Man, I doubt it. I think it's a little later in March. But thank piss for that. Yeah. Anyway, well, uh, shall we call her a day? I, I think we, we should. Get, did we yeah. do enough work? I, I mean, feel like we did. Hey. We don't get paid by the hour. Yeah, I know, but I tried. We try to aim for an hour. But yeah. Sometimes we go over. Sometimes a little less. Oh no! I mean, like right now, uh, give people enough time to go get that sandwich they've been craving. <laughs> uh, if sure they, they were do. if they were holding on to that shit, they can uh, get rid of that. I do believe that probably does happen with most listeners. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you gotta you gotta hear this. You don't want to listen to this while you're shitting. You don't want our voices in your head while you're shitting. Ah, uh, shit, no, no, you do not. I wouldn't. <laughs> I remember the podcast came on one time while I was dropping a deuce to wake up to go to work because I was put on something, and let it play. So yeah. as I try to collect my thoughts, and right after it auto played like a fucking double digit episode of the podcast, it was just weird. Yeah. I've, I've had that happen because I let autoplay just basically be the ruler of the realm while I'm busy doing shit. So then YouTube will do shit. It'll get lazy. It'll play like full albums and shit, you know, full oh. concerts and whatever. But and then it's like, well, what else is this asshole into? And it'll start playing some of the shit from like my subscriptions or whatever, but older episodes. And it did that with yeah. one of our shows one time. It was like episode like 125 or something like that. And like, what the fuck? And, and because that's the other thing too is because I'm like doing other stuff around the house and everything else and just. Letting YouTube run, uh, run the run the realm, and no, they're like, whoa, what's this? Why am I hearing my stupid opinions, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to come on while I'm banging. I guess you'll be uh, waiting a while. <laughs> That's uh... <laughs> what for it to come on while I'm banging, or the banging in general? Yeah, uh, you know. What? Hey, best of luck, man. Best of luck to all you fellows out there. I know Hope you're all of you there. paid for that that uh, for that action on February fourteenth. What day is that? Oh, <laughs> my, my bad. I yeah, forgot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Ha- happy fuck day, fucking assholes. Exactly. <laughs> happy fuck day, ass mouth. Uh, that's that's how she goes, boys. All right. Well, we good enough to call it a day? I think so. Okay. Let's get the fuck all out right. of here. Hey, uh, thanks to LJ for fucking all the magic he does and shit like that. And the magic that Brandon does to make LJ sound good. Thank that's you for stuff. toad liquor. Toad li- Yeah, toad liquor. And happy birthday, Pops. Cranium? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Cranium, check them out, man. Point of no return. <laughs>